my parents have a meeting with their accountants so I've come to Panera Bread they've dropped me off and I'm gonna do some work I've got a muffin here and an Americano and I bought my laptop and a book and everything even though their meetings like 30 minutes they'll probably be about an hour I reckon I've gotten too many activities to do and I love it but I'm normally here with Leah so missing Leah at Panera at the moment. Well guys we're back at Winter Garden we're on our favorite bike ride of them all it's just so nice here this is literally where all of us would like to live if we could um, so many beautiful houses oh across the road nearly kill myself here so many lovely houses it's always nice and sunny here it's funny to see how much it's changed over the last two and a half years so many more houses have popped up look how beautiful this is i love the spanish moss and these houses with the wood cladding or they make it look like wood don't they i'm not sure if it is wood um but they're just so beautiful There's some more over on this side This is one of my favorite spots. Um, they're all built around a lake. There's some lovely houses along here. I'll show you it ever since it was built it's always been my favorite and it's getting slightly more established every time I come and view it but all of this was owned by a house that's hidden behind those trees I couldn't remember what it's called but that is the only old house here and I think it owned all this land but there you can see my favorite house just on the horizon so this is my favorite house because it's pretty much got nearly 360 porch all the way around it's all now planted up, it looks amazing. I haven't seen it for two and a half years. So, so nice. We're just stopping for a Pepsi Max break and um, we've come down to where they're building new houses, or they were, where well, they still are, but mum and dad remember that they were building some bigger houses. At the front of the estate, you've got the slightly smaller ones. And um, yeah, they're still going. So this one's being finished off at the moment. And these ones have a lovely view of Lake, is it Lake Kapopka? Lake of Popcorn, this one's pretty much been finished off. Very nice. And as you can see, the building more of the medium sized houses over here. Lovely, but we're just going to have a drink on this swing. Right, we've been cycling for over an hour and a half now on our way back um, but still probably 40 minutes to go or something but I just remembered we've done this bike ride for years ever since mum and dad bought the house like six years ago and one time me and Luke had sit down bikes where you sort of lay back and pedal um, and we finished the trail in like two three hours and got to the end and Luke didn't have his phone and he realized that it'd probably fallen out of his pocket because we were on proper sit down bikes Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, chickens. Come on. I love chickens. Um, anyway, so, and at that stage, uh, Luke was quite disabled because he just had an illness, was recovering from it. So um, Ben and Dad decided to cycle the whole entire trail again, <laughs> looking for Luke's phone. They never found it. So Ben and Dad that day did about, I don't know, hours and hours of cycling. Um, I didn't go with them, of course not. But that was before I was into fitness. That was when I was quite overweight, so I probably couldn't have done it even if I wanted to. Anyway, we're gonna sit down for a second little drink. Oh, that house is nice. I love the black and white ones with black windows and white walls. But yeah, we're gonna go find a little bench opposite one of our favorite houses. I keep saying that, this is my favorite house. This is my favorite house, but there's a lovely one down here. Um, I made friends with the dog one time. I should probably go that way around the roundabout, but I'm a risk taker. I think it might be down here. Yes, I think it is. Look at this big water tower. So cool. Here it is and they've painted it. It used to be sort of a yellowy color. 
and now it's white. I mean, it looks very nice still, but interesting. And I like that it's not on a proper road, it's on a gravel track. I've lost mum and dad, don't know where they are. <laughs> Come to Cracker Barrel for lunch, so yeah, I love it here. We're now on to our biscuits with jam, it's our favorite thing ever. For us, they're sweet and like, well, they taste a bit salty, but I would never want one of these drenched in gravy like Americans seem to like them. I mean, I'm sure they're nice. They're probably like dumplings, but I much prefer it with jam. One of my favorite things is looking around the shop after having food in Cracker Barrel. There's some really cool stuff. Also really cringe stuff, but love it. Ooh, waiting for mum to pay. And um, the thing I love about Cracker Barrel, they've got their rocking chairs that you can buy. These are all for sale outdoors. So just waiting here, lovely. This one's 219. Yeah, this one says it's a heritage collection. I think this one's all smooth and this one's a bit not smooth. So I think that's supposed to look, it's not smooth. I like the wooden ones down there. After a day out, me and mum like to get dropped off just by the gates so we can walk home and get our steps up for the day. I like looking at the nature, seeing the sand cranes um, and the lizards. Last time we walked here, mum squashed a lizard. <laughs> but she didn't mean to, it just ran under her foot as she stepped down. They're just so quick, aren't they? They are. But at least it provided food for the cranes. Yeah, there's another little Look lizard. Ooh, they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice coming back inside as soon as you've been outside. The aircon in here. Uh, I was just discussing with mum about living here. Both mum and dad say that they could easily live in Florida. And I was saying I absolutely could not. I would hate the climate to live here. I love the climate for a holiday when you're just here, when you choose to be here. But being stuck in Florida when it's literally tropical climate pretty much all year round. I'd rather live, if I was to live in America, I'd rather live somewhere like New England where you get the seasons, where you get the nice orangey trees in autumn, the snow in winter, and then a nice spring, and then a hot summer, just like the proper seasons, whereas Florida doesn't really have seasons, which I wouldn't like. Anyway, I brought these home from Cracker Barrel because I had some spare jams. Um, so I don't know what I'll use them for, but I didn't want to waste them. This is one of the magazines I'm really enjoying being on holiday, period living. This is actually only the second issue I've had and I think I, I'm on a trial with it but I think I'm going to stick with it because I really, really love it. Um, basically, this morning I was looking at, what was I looking at? I was looking at orangeries and extensions because Lucy and I want to get a proper roof put on our kitchen um, at some stage because any of you who've been watching for a long time will know that ours is like a plastic roof. Um, I just want to show you what I was thinking. Here we go. So ours is basically like this. Our kitchen's like stops there, our bathroom's in there, and the kitchen comes down here. Um, and at the moment, this is all wood and plastic. And this is like the perfect thing. So build the wall up, because the wall comes up to there, and then it's plastic there as well. So build the wall up, have glass on top instead of... Um, plastic, obviously make it a proper roof, um, because me and Lucy really like the light that it brings in, um, and then turn this into like a patio door and some windows there. It would just be, it wouldn't look like this with the table and chairs, it wouldn't be a living room, but it would just be a nice way to make the kitchen nicer, but obviously if I had a bigger house, something like that would be amazing, or something like that. But yeah, I love this magazine. We were looking at magazines in Publix, and I cannot believe how expensive magazines are in the US. I know from the past where we've been to Books A Million and we've looked at books, books are super expensive in the US as well. Um, but magazines in the UK, so this period living magazine is £4.75, um, which in dollars that's like six or seven dollars. 
I looked at a similar one. There was one called like Traditional Home. It looked incredible, really would like to buy it. It was $14.99, $15, 10 pounds more, more than 10 pounds more than this. So I was like, absolutely not. Why are American magazines so expensive? I don't understand. I've been doing a bit of gardening today as well. I'll just show you. I planted all these plants years ago. Some have died and been taken away. We've then planted some new ones over the years. Anyway, these are my two grasses. I did have three here, but one died a few years ago, so we took it out. Um, basically, I've chopped out as much of the dead grass as possible, because as you can see, the new grass is growing in the middle, so I want it to get enough sun, so I've been chopping them. When me and Leah came, these were lovely and alive, and then just a few months later, they're dead. So hopefully when I next come back, they'll be alive and kicking. Over here, my little palm tree is not doing well at all, and I don't really know how to help it. And this is my fire and ice hibiscus that I planted. Until this morning, it was up to here, but as you can see the remnants, it was all dead wood got off so much but as you can see growing on some of the dead wood just proves it's not dead actually there's new shoots so hopefully again by the time i come back in september that'll be a big bush again um again don't know why it died when me and leah came in november it was huge and then now in april it's died and regrowing but yeah to be honest i'm not much of a gardener anyway but even less so in Florida. I feel like I don't really know how to keep Florida plants alive. We're having dinner in tonight and Dad has made our favorite salad ever, isn't it, Mom? In America. A beautiful cob salad with bacon, chicken, eggs, blue cheese. Is that Cuban bread as well? Not sure. Or is it just bread? Public bread, I think. Okay, well, either way, thank you very much. Exactly. <laughs> Look how big this is. It's bigger than my hand. It's very lovely. Nice. It does, doesn't it? Yum. This is like my tenth cob salad. Excuse the shine. Oh my gosh, I put after sun on today because I got burnt in the sun on the last day. I haven't been burnt the whole holiday, so I've put aloe vera on. Anyway, we came for our last evening at Celebration. We've come to the Town Tavern, which is one of our favorite places. But me and mum had a giant cob salad, which mum didn't even finish. Um, and dad had the meatloaf stack or something. Oh, we're parked over there, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> um, but that is our last meal of the holiday. And sadly, that concludes the Florida vlogs, guys. You know what? I filmed more than I realized. I thought I'd get about three videos max out of what I filmed in Florida. And I managed to get five. And the videos, at least two of the videos, are like 20 minutes long. So, yeah. Quite proud of myself, considering it was a holiday, supposed to be relaxing, but I managed to get five videos out of it, which is great. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed those videos. Um, let me know what you enjoyed, what you want to see more of, and stuff like that, because if you guys really enjoy seeing me out and about from the house, or do you like the DIY videos, do you like the mix of both, what do you want to see? Because I'm always up for improving the viewer experience, do you know what I mean? Anyway, thank you guys. Just a quick note to say that if you are interested in channel memberships, I have them available on this channel where you can get extra members only videos and members only live streams, which are really, really fun. And I actually just did one, you'll be seeing this on a Sunday. So I actually did one yesterday, on Saturday. Um, but you can, when you become a member, you can go back through all the old live streams, all of the other members only videos. But yeah, it's definitely worth considering if you want more content from me. Ava is boiling hot. She's just having a nap. I bought a fan over there because we're having a bit of a heat wave in the UK at the moment. If it's like Florida temperatures, can't handle it. That's all. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.